All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to absolutely annihilate the newest stage of infinite Dragon Ball history on global with this ridiculously broken all Gogeta and Vegito final trump card team. Now minor spoilers for anybody that missed the summoning video from this morning. We did manage to grab the final dupe of LR Blue Gogeta I needed to rainbow him. In fact, the entire team is rainbowed now, so this should be a lot of fun. And for anybody that wants to still catch that video and see how I reacted, then uh, feel free to go check it out. Link somewhere above my head. Okay, so quick rundown of the team before we jump into it. We have the LR Vegito Blue, of course. We have Fizz Vegito Blue. We have AGL Blue Gogeta. Tech LR Vegito Blue. And then, of course, the Fizz Gogeta, as well as the Int Vegito, and the friend here is a 100% tech LR Vegito Blue. Now I know people are going to be like, yo, aren't you a huge Gogeta fanboy? Why are you bringing a friend Vegito instead of a Gogeta? And the main reason, honestly, is because the final stage with the blue Gogeta is an AGL type enemy, and I feel like having two Vegitos would make it a little bit easier to deal with him, so that's why. I'm still a huge Gogeta fanboy, still definitely Gogeta over Vegito, but I mean, I love them both, so it's all good, all right? Now, without further ado, let's jump right into it and get this run started. Now, I do want to give a quick shout out to my friends over at uh, Pain Shop on Twitter for hooking me up with some very generous prices on my Dragonstones recently. If you guys are interested in saving yourselves a decent amount of money on your next Dragonstone purchase, then make sure to hit them up on Twitter, link in my description down below. Okay, so... Let's get this, let's get this. So we have the three-year LRs on the same rotation here. I'm not really sure if I wanna keep them together right now or separate them. Cause the logic here is that eventually when I fall below 50% HP, I don't want both of them to be transforming at the same time. Cause like, it's it's essentially like a free Senzu bean each time they, they fuse, right? But if you use both at the same time, it's like a waste. But I think for now, early on. We'll keep them together and then later on I might split them up and do like a rotation of obviously the two blue fusions and then maybe Fizz Vegito Blue and AGL Gogeta. We'll see. You know what? We'll just have fun with it. It's not a big deal. I know this team can beat the stage. If you guys didn't notice, we didn't bring any items in the beginning because I know we don't need them. All right. It's not necessary. So it's okay. All right. So uh, yeah, man, I'm still... It's only been, what, less than a day since I rainbowed the Gogeta, and the Vegeta's been rainbowed for a while now, so I've kind of had time to process it, but I, I, I'm still, like, shook, honestly. Like, I'm still, I'm still in disbelief that it actually happened, you know? Like, I came into this celebration expecting, honestly, to pull one copy of each, and I was like, best case scenario, I would pull a dupe for each of them. Right, I was prepared to go in for like with like 2,000 stones, maybe a little bit more depending on how things went, and just leaving with one copy and then waiting for the Ten of Bata banner to come out, you know, at the end of the year, or, you know, thank you banner to uh, pull the dupes or buy them for the Baba Shop or whatever the case may be, but instead we uh, managed to rainbow both in about 3,000 stones. I do plan to do like a recap video, so... Uh, before I make that video, obviously, I'll do like a full count of like all my videos, all my off-camera summons, and all that good stuff to make sure I have like the right number. But I think it was around 3,000 total stones we spent to rainbow both, as well as AGL Gohan, Int Cell, uh, Int Vegito, and basically most of both of the uh, Blue Fusion banners. So I would say that's very lucky, man. At, at least for, for my luck, from what I'm used to, that's super super lucky damn we we got hit pretty hard there i was expecting vegeto to actually tank a bit better but it wasn't too bad it's not a huge deal obviously if we do fall below 50 percent, we do get the free heal as well so it's it's okay but i i'm actually i think i need to pay a bit more attention to this run because this stage is kind of hard man it's not like super hard it's definitely doable it's manageable but it's pretty like the enemies hit really hard that's the thing you can't really get complacent, right? You can't really... You gotta take these guys seriously. Like the blue Goku at the end, or a blue uh, Gogeta at the end, the full power Broly, even the Raffle Broly and the, 
the base Gogeta, they they all hit you super, super hard. So we're definitely confident. Like, I'm definitely really confident in this team. But we've still got to be, you know, kind of careful. It can't be stupid, right? So I'm going to try to not distract myself too much with the talking. We're going to do both at the same time. Multitask. Okay, so we got three blue transformations right there. That was awesome. And, of course, we're going to put my Vegito Blue in the front just because... That's just how I am, you know, if I have the option. I mean, actually, I think mine's rainbowed. Oh, no, they're both rainbowed. Never mind. So, yeah, it, it wouldn't make a difference, but I'm just the kind of guy that, like, will use my unit if I can over the friend one, even if they're the same. It's just it's just a thing. You guys know. Okay. So, it's going to be a little bit scary right now, actually. Yeah, as you can see, we're not tanking that well because when you first transform, these guys don't have the most uh defense it takes them a while to build up that defense eventually when you're maxed out you're sitting at like 150k or something like that which is good enough to tank normal attacks and even for supers they're not gonna kill you but before that when you first transform man it's it's kind of precarious so you gotta be careful i gotta be careful yeah they're doing so much damage though i love it and this gogeta additionals all as you can see he additionals all the freaking time because with the skill orbs, he actually has uh, level 18 additional right now, which is a 36% chance to additional every single turn. So I get double supers with him all the freaking time, even though he doesn't get the guaranteed second super. Okay, so, ah, oh man, I hate this Broly with his, like, ability to lock us in place. Um, I mean, that should be fine. I was planning to actually take out Vegito. But I don't think it's a big deal here. No, it's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Oh man, like I said, guys, man, I, I I'm still I'm still shocked. Like I, I'm still speechless. Like I've been thinking about it all day. I'm like, what exactly happened? You know, like how how did things turn around like this? And I I, I don't mean to trigger anybody that like got shafted or had had much worse luck than me, which I'm sure a lot of people did, right? Because like. The luck, all things considered, was quite insane, and I'm sure a lot of people are, are pretty salty about my pulls, and I get it, man, I understand. If you um, hate me a little bit right now, you, you want to kill me a little bit, that's understandable. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> I've been there, man. I, I, I've gotten, like, shafted really bad in the past, and, like, saw just my friends or just other content creators out there have some crazy, crazy luck, and I'm like, yo, I literally hate your guts right now, because I just spent, like, two thousand dollars on stones it did not pull a single copy you guys probably know what i'm talking about i don't have to name the unit or units but it was just it was stupid it didn't make any sense and um there were times where i was like yo like i, I love you as a friend you know in my mind i know that like we're cool but at the same time i kind of hate you right now <laughs> so it's okay man if you want to hate me you want to you know say something me in the comments to make to, to, to feel better um, I don't know about your pulls or the shaft that you got then go ahead man. I understand. Okay. It's okay I, I, I know it's not like out of actual hate more so just saltiness and uh, That's just part of being a gacha game player, right? So yeah, we, we popped one of those um, One of the active skills because I was scared that later on we, we, we wouldn't get a chance so at least we got to see that one so we can you know have at least one in this video because sometimes during these runs like i'll go the entire event just never being in a situation where i can use the active skill so uh yeah we use that one it's okay though we still got the other one for the friend Vegito. oh they're gonna force me to actually oh no he, oh, he doesn't lock the rotation he actually just seals i believe so that's fine okay let's take the, the friend Vegito blue out here um you know what i'll keep the three year fusions together for a bit longer yeah, we'll, we'll do that for a bit longer, especially because we have the type of advantage here with the Int Vegito. And I'm going to just let the Friend Vegito stack up a bit more. Because right now, he's not going to be very tanky anyways. Okay. Ah, hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Or I guess whatever day it is you're watching this. Right now it's Sunday, but it could be a different time. If you're watching this video, actually the day that it drops in about a couple hours from now... I don't want to give an exact time because obviously, actually no, I can give you an exact time. I just can't give you how many hours. At 10 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which is about seven hours from now for me, um, we're going to be summoning 
on the LR Rose and uh, LR uh, Broly Chi Lion Lemo banner for part two of the five year celebration. So if you guys are up at that time or you got some free time, feel free to join me. I will be live as soon as the banners drop. Actually, probably like 15 minutes beforehand just to get everybody in. So yeah, if you guys are down to watch some summons, maybe see if the luck continues or if you're hoping I get shafted finally, which very well could happen. Like I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if I pull nothing. Um, then, then be there. Okay, I'll be live. It's gonna be a lot of fun, one way or another. You know, we're gonna be doing some summons, and uh, if it's a shaft, it's a shaft. You know, like I already got both fusions, rainbow. I can't really complain at this point. And when it comes to Ra uh, Broly and Rose, it's not like I, I I really need them right now, anyways. They're like like my mindset with them is like I would like to have them. But it's really not a priority right now. If anything, like I really want Kefla more so than the Rose and the Broly. So, you know, there's a lot of rumors out there, a lot of people speculating that we're gonna get Kefla after the anniversary, right? So that's definitely a way bigger priority for me. And uh, also, I really want. Uh, oh, what else do I really want? Go Tanks is fine, Boo is fine, but I don't really need them too much. Um. Oh, and then after that, the priority is going to be SSBK, SSBKK and SSBE and also LR Jiren. So, yeah, we're going to be good for a while, guys. Like, if I get shafted for the next, I don't know, four or five months, it'll be fine. There's also, of course, the download celebration, which uh, we don't really know the contents of yet. So, until I learn what that is, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to chill. I'm sure it's going to be very good. But I'm sure it's going to be like really good units it's just like depending on the characters i'm the kind of person like these days you know when i first started i was like i need the best units i need to like build the good teams to beat a fence but at this point man with like the units i have I, I can pretty much beat everything right so it's like i only really go for units or go hard for units that um that like are exciting to me as characters if that makes sense right so if they release like a new ultimate gohan i'll be like that's cool Actually, no, 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 it wouldn't be Ultimate Gohan, because JP's getting the Ultimate Gohan in like a couple days. So, yeah, it really depends on what they release, and that will dictate how hard I go for them. We'll see, we'll see. I just really hope they don't pull the same thing as last year, with the active skill conditions, or the transformation conditions, rather, where, like, you will never, like, as much as I love HL Gohan, you guys know my, my story with him, and, like, how hard it was for me to actually get him right as much as like i love that unit and i think he's insane still for sure one of the best units in the game no question like that defense i mean his damage is really good but that defense is is, is just super clutch um you will never see him transform man like <laughs> trust me i have not seen him transform even one time since i got him and it's been what, like three weeks now since I first pulled him? I haven't seen him transform one time. You guys know how many times I've run Kamehameha as a team, right? As a category and never saw it. So, you know, that condition is just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I really hope they don't pull that again for this download celebration. I hope they learned their lesson. And, uh, you know, recently they've been doing a good job. So let's just continue that trend of, of giving units, you know, manageable. It doesn't have to be like super easy. It doesn't, doesn't have to be like three turns, four turns kind of thing, but Make it more manageable where you can actually see the transformation every once in a while. Un and they're unlike the Gohan, where like you just never see it. Cell is a little bit better, but still quite rare. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm excited though. I'm excited. Okay, so we're reversing. We're, we're facing the Cell now. Oh, sorry, got Cell in my mind. Uh, Frieza. We're facing the Frieza, and I'm gonna actually do the Phase Vegito Blue and AGL Blue Gogeta for this rotation. And as I said, I was gonna do, we're gonna take the Vegito, we're gonna float them, the Vegito and the Ogeta from four, Forum 3 year, until, until we fall below 50% and need the heal. And in that case, we can just, you know, get one heal at a time and not waste the, the Senzu Bean effect. So even though we're not using items, it's kind of like we still got like some item effects that we can use to our advantage and it's gonna help a lot. Because, like I said, these guys hit really hard. <laughs> and we don't have a godly defender like uh, AGL Gohan on this team. Like, if I was bringing Kamehameha, I would have brought AGL Gohan. No, actually, no, I wouldn't. Because I really 
wanted to do this like all Gogeta and Vegito team. So I couldn't even have done Kamehameha actually. But yeah, like we have some we have some studs defensively. Like Vegito and Gogeta, the the, the LR ones, um, they both can tank quite well, right? There's their studs on defense, but they're not amazing. Right? It's it's not AGL Gohan level. Okay, this is gonna be scary, guys. This is gonna be scary. So my Vegito has 130k defense, Gogeta has 123k, and Fizz Gogeta has 127k as well, but we have the type of disadvantage here. Um, so yeah, he's gonna get hit pretty hard most likely. I'll just give the one, no, let's give three orbs to Gogeta. That's gonna be 18k super for the Fizz Gogeta. As long as he doesn't get super, we should be okay. Wow, okay, so we're still tanking for double digits on the normals. That's really good. We still got full power bullet though to, to contend with. And also uh Blue Gogeta. Like I said, this 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 stage is no pushover. Don't don't take it lightly. Just because it's maybe not as hard as the legendary Goku event, it can still be pretty scary. Like this is gonna hit us hard. What's it gonna do? Like 150, 200 k Something like that? Oh! Oh no, because we supered first. Never mind, never mind. No, if, if we hadn't supered first and then we got hit with the super, that would have done a lot of damage. But uh, Vegito supered first, so he raised his defense on the super. And that's why he only took 80k. Either way, next turn, I think we should be getting the Vegito fusion. No, actually, he was on the last rotation, I think. So we might not get a fusion the next turn. Or not. Ooh, okay. Um, you know, I'm, you know what I'm gonna do. I, I should save this, but just to be safe, I'm gonna pop it now. All right, so we're gonna pop this right now, and I'm gonna move him back to the first slot, so that he can get three guaranteed supers, and we should also have a high chance to dodge. Although I don't remember if this Gogeta actually removes dodge. Like he he might actually counter dodge. I don't I don't remember if he does that, but either way, either way, we should be able to kill him this turn now. Cause this dude's gonna get like at least three supers, up to four. Forget the additional from the hidden potential system. Okay, so he doesn't he does not disable dodge. He does not disable dodge. Okay, there we go. That's two dodges. And oh damn, I didn't give him enough orbs to 18 key. But that's okay. He's gonna get three guaranteed supers here. And if you guys are confused about why that, why that is, basically the way it works is um, if you launch the active skill in the third slot, it counts in as the third attacker, but then you move him back to the first slot and it also counts as the first or second attacker. So basically, yo, that was clutch. <laughs> that was clutch. So he essentially gets the guaranteed super from both like parts of the passive, um, which is why he also has, he gets the, the multiple supers as well as the high chance to dodge, which you guys saw there. Okay, so as long as this one hits, this one's gonna connect. He's dead. We're moving on. It's gonna be full power Broly now, I believe. Unless we already beat him. No, it should be Broly. It should be Broly. Okay, so first things first, we get the fusion with the Vegito. Gonna be some clutch counters coming in, especially the crit ones. Okay, there's the Broly. Yep. Um, but you know what, I'm not going to actually... <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to put him in the main rotation, because if we get super, that's still going to be really bad. And my blue fusions already have really good defense, so I trust them here. Obviously, Vegito in the front, because he does have the higher defense. And uh, Gogeta's going to get a nice super off there too. You know what, maybe I should have saved those for Vegito though. Eh, no, it's fine. We already have this type of disadvantage anyways, so it wasn't like we were going to hit super hard regardless. 4.6 mil, 4.6 mil on that Ultra Super, additional for 3.1. Mmm, ridiculous. And then additional normal, still critting. Would have been nice if it was an additional super. That would have been a crazy turn, but I'm okay with that. You know what, I accept it, not a big deal. Just the counter, uh, actually did more damage than I thought. It's not bad. And then we're taking a super here. So normals are doing about 100 damage or so. This super shouldn't hit us too hard. We did already super it twice. So 142k is totally 
Totally fine, acceptable. 5.2 million from the blue Gogeta, man. Oh my god. Okay, so we're hitting for 3 mil there. There's the additional normal. Can we get another super? Mmm. Okay, so we've been getting a lot of additionals, but not additional supers. That's interesting. That's interesting. All right. I mean, I'll, I'll take the additional normal anyways. It still hits really hard just because he's effective against all, right? But we could have almost finished him there. Um, but you know what? Not a big deal. It's okay. Let's move. Yeah, let's put the two Vegito Blues together. We're going to move the LR Gogeta out of rotation for now. The friend Vegito is not quite stacked up yet, but he should be okay. Still over 100k defense. Yeah, this team is so fun. <laughs> this team is so fun. I mean, <laughs> like, it's just crazy how busted it is. And for real, like, at, the, at this point in time, there's not really a event in this game that's, like, hard enough to really challenge it. I'm sure we're going to get more stuff. I mean, we're going to get the, ultra, uh, what's it called, Extreme Super Battle Road soon. So that's probably going to be pretty tough, even with these units. But for now, there's not really an event in this game where I'm like, Yo, I'm worried that this team might not beat it, because it's just so stupidly good. Okay, now we're on the Vegito Blue, or sorry, the Blue Gogeta. Um, let me think. So Vegito's going to be fine, obviously, but Gogeta, maybe not. Even with 140,000 defense. Uh, I mean, I don't want to split them up, though, so I'm thinking we still just hope we, we, we keep them together of course and we just hope that he doesn't super on the second slot and we should be fine keyword should be fine no guarantees though <laughs> no guarantees the good thing is we do get to super first so he will be able to raise his defense and if we get supered by gogeta after it won't hurt as much yeah, five point. What was that? Five point six? Five point? Almost five point seven? Give me a crit here too. Come on. Yep. Okay. About three mil. He dies to normal. That's fine. And yes. Okay. We're taking normals for double digits. <laughs> yes. We're taking double normals for double digits. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> Yo, that was so close. Dude, that was way too close for comfort. Way too close for comfort. Um, I should not, I should have saved that active skill. Oh man, I should have saved the active skill. So I'm thinking that, uh, you know, let's leave Vegito blue. Is Vegito blue in the middle? Because, I mean, unless, unless we get supered. We'll be fine. And honestly, the friend Tech Vegito Blue can just finish this right now by himself. But yeah, yo, AGL Blue Gogeta almost got us killed. That was way too close for comfort. Oh, I'm still concerned, honestly. Um, not super concerned, but if Fizz Vegito Blue takes a super attack, we're probably dead. So it's a bit of a risk here. But we just gotta pray that he doesn't. Gotta pray that he doesn't. Yo, we came so far. We're so close. It, it can't end like this. It cannot end like this. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're safe. We're safe. And then the... Oh! Okay, so he dodged the first super. There's an additional, which he also dodges. Very nice. There's a counter. Come on, crit, crit, crit. Mm. Okay, one more counter and we're good. Hit. Boom. There you go. <laughs> Easy. Okay, you know what? Not like... Not a pushover by any means, right? Like I said, this event is, is pretty tough. But we, we still got it done with no items. So it's fine. Even though it came pretty close to the wire there, man. If I, if I had gone supered, I would have been done, right? Like it would have been over. And... I would have to. I would have had to restart the video. I wasn't gonna post this video with uh, 
with 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 a loss, right? Like that would have been sad. So yeah, that 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 was that was that was clutch. That was clutch. The the lack of supers, those those counters from the three year Vegito, it still blows my mind, honestly, just how good the three year LRs are, right? Because at this point they're literally two years old, and they're still absolutely amazing. And especially for these like no item runs, having them with the free heal when they transform or when they fuse. Um, is super clutch. So that is today's video, guys. That is the run with the all rainbow Vegito and Gogeta final trump card team featuring the newly rainbowed LR Blue Gogeta. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this guy. I'm gonna be running him a lot on a lot of events, so expect maybe some more videos in the near future. And uh, of course, once the other Infinite Dragon Ball History stage comes out in part three, we'll also run through it with whatever team that includes these two blue fusions. Um, I don't, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do like Transformation Boost or uh, Realm of Gods or something like that, but either way, they're going to be there for sure. I'm probably not going to be running a team without both blue fusions for a while, so you ready for that. But that is today's video, guys. That was a ton of fun. Like I said, hopefully you guys had at almost as much fun or as much fun as I did making this video. And uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.